Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and you know that means it's time for Warfronts. This week on Warfronts, it's my level 50 mage, my pyromancer dominator spec mage. I am mercenaried over to the defiant side, but I'm still wearing my guardian pride armor, so, uh, you know, still representing the G's, right? I mean, I'm, I might be on the defiant team killing guardians, but I'm still representing my people. Or something like that. So, this uh, this week is uh, back on the 50, and uh, it's an improvement week. I played a couple of games, didn't really get to play much this week. You know, leading into last week's episode, I had played a lot of Rift. But leading into this week's episode, very little chance to play the game. Uh, so, a little rusty. A couple of warm-up games got me back into the swing of things. And then we had this one. So, overall, uh, I think I've learned a lot about not just how to play my mage, but uh, some of the nuances of playing at level 50. For instance, uh, when I started this, I made a mental note of the name of my healer and uh, roughly the visual look of my healer, and uh, I'm putting that away for future use. So we'll talk about that as the match goes on. Uh, moving up here, maybe overextending myself just a bit, uh, but ultimately it doesn't matter because a sneaky, sneaky rogue jumps on me. Uh, nice flash there into a piece of the scenery. Embarrassing indeed. And since there was a stealth rogue, I know that that rogue is probably working his way over here to uh, make it play on our fang carrier, and indeed, he reveals himself. So let's go to work. I'm going to do what I can in order to separate this rogue from our fang carrier, trying to get uh, uh, some breathing room for our fang carrier, who incidentally is also our healer. Uh, so that bodes well, because it means that, uh, well, the fang carrier can heal thyself, <laughs> and that's a very good thing. Uh, I am working on this rogue, doing everything I can to burn it down. Uh, got a question for you rogues out there, you uh, high-end pro rogues. What is this? He's dead. He has zero life. Um, how is he living? I don't know what that skill is. You know, I probably could research it and find out, but uh, tell me about it. What skill was that that he used to uh, basically tank all that damage at the end of that? Some kind of a rift stalker, to what rift dancer, whatever the hell that tank class is called. Uh, whatever the skill is, uh, tell me about it. I don't know what it is. I'm I'm a sponge. Teach me. You can see me there not quite getting out of that AOE before trying to pick up the fang and finally getting it. Uh, picking it up here just thinking, hey, you know, uh, we, have been, uh, we have been pushed back and we don't want to lose the fang because they essentially had claimed the middle there for a moment. Um, but, you know, the fang is dropped. Pick up the fang. It's, it's what you should do. Now here again, Thinking about the healer, I knew the healer was dead. I knew the healer would be respawning. I had moved forward a little too much. I was about to die, so I started moving back because I knew that the healer should be coming in from her respawn. And indeed, it worked out. So uh, a surprising bit of intelligence from uh, Big Dave. Hmm. So the, uh, the sneaky sneaky rogue is back uh, harassing me as rogues tend to do. My healer will try to do everything that she can to keep me alive. I will try to get out of line of sight of the marauding guardians who are trying to kill me. Uh, you know, the rogue is tough. He is uh, putting out a lot of damage. He is tanking a lot of damage. Um, just, you know, being a badass rogue and uh, destroying me. Uh, it's never fun to get killed uh, by a rogue who is being a rogue, but uh, you have to tip the hat to somebody who's playing their class well, who is uh, playing it to its strengths, and uh, I don't have any problem with uh, getting my ass kicked right there because that rogue was uh, doing a hell of a job. So the uh, the battle lines have shifted, the fang returns to the center, and uh, the guardians have claimed it. So it is uh, a no-brainer that they will grab that fang and abscond with it, heading away to the safety of the tree. To the tree! So, we're going to move up here, and uh, a battle is going to start to occur just over here to the left. I decide to forego that and uh, run over here to try to quickly, sneakily kill the fang carrier. I unload with everything that I can and do manage to get the kill with the help of the fang, naturally. So now I'm going to try to hold it. I'm going to try to do whatever I can to keep them from picking it up. Unfortunately, I will fail at that. They will get the grab. So I took a little bit of a chance there, uh, ramboing in on my own to try to force uh, force a, a drop. I got the drop, but I couldn't deliver uh, on the end result, which would have been a fang return. You know, that was a calculated risk. Uh, it didn't pay off uh, completely. I do wish when the drop triggered that maybe my team had pushed forward 
to the location of the fang, but it happens. It's a pug. These are the way that pugs play. So I'm getting my buffs on, heading back to battle. The, the thirst for guardian blood is really pushing me forward. You know, sometimes you, you don't realize how, how good the blood of your own people tastes until you drink it from their skull. So here we go, moving forward. Notice that one of my guys is in a little bit of trouble. Uh, going to help out the uh, healer there and uh, peel off that pursuer. Uh, working good as a team hanging out together. Bit of a mistake here on my part, in my opinion. Uh, pull back a little too far, uh, sort of sticking to our flag carrier, fang carrier, like uh, uh, like I'm a healer. Really, I'm not a healer. I should be up doing some damage, keeping the, uh, the battle line moved forward. So there's going to be a little lull in the action here while we keep them on their hill, and I'll take a moment to answer a question that I get often. Why don't you play Port Scion. Uh, the reason I'm answering that is because Port Scion was the weekend warfront. Well, the reason is it's long and uh, it's difficult to commentate. It's difficult to talk about. And most of the things that you can learn from match of Port Scion only relate to Port Scion. So there's not a lot of value in it for this sort of a show. That's pretty much the answer. So we do keep them well, well back. And uh, we're, I'm like, hey, I'm going to step up here and get some gold. You know, what the hell? They're not doing anything. Uh, but that sneaky rogue is back, and the sneaky rogue is being a sneaky rogue, but luckily enough, we managed to destroy it. However, again, that attack by the rogue, smart and timely, allows them to dismount the hill and start to uh, put out an offense here. I'm probably a little overextended as I see this sneaky person trying to slip by and uh, start to unload, but by then, as I say, I'm just in a bad position. Uh, I was a little too far forward, and that meant that I got dotted up and murdered. But in the end, look at the score. It doesn't matter. We're going to win. There's some good in this game, some bad in this game. Overall, what did we learn from this game? Well, I'm improving slowly but surely. I'm, I'm actually getting better. The suggestions and the coaching from you guys out there who have uh, given me some positive reinforcement and uh, given me some spec ideas and, and advice. I love it. I appreciate you people so much. I appreciate you sticking with me. Uh, I am excited for patch 1.8. I hope you are. Uh, I am I am ready to uh, start fishing in another MMO. All right, fishing. Uh, that sounds sarcastic, but actually I am interested to kind of just play around with some of those secondary trade skills because that's the kind of stuff that I can do, uh, you know, just when I have a moment. I don't have to have uh, a lot of time to commit, jump in, do my crafting, do some secondary trade skills, and go on my way. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm going to try to keep things, excuse me, I'm going to try to keep things moving forward here on Big Davis Cheap, and I hope you will enjoy it. If you've got suggestions for what you'd like to see, definitely give them to me. Other than that, I think we are done. Yes, indeed. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.